Yeah, well, can you just keep an eye out for her? Thanks. For nothing. <sighs> hey. You look exhausted. You need to get your head down. Well, I'll sleep when I find my daughter. The police will do that. Oof. What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and twiddle me thumbs? Let me do your brew. I don't want a broom, and where is she? What was Tracy thinking? <sighs> Maybe in her warped mind, she thought she were doing the best thing. <laughs> what, by leaving the door with a convicted murderer? No, we don't know that for sure. No, we don't know, do we? We don't know anything. It's doing me head in. I'm going to go and look for her. The police said stay put. I could give a monkeys what the police said. I'm going. They'll find her. I know. But do I open up? Do I keep the shop closed? I mean, what would Tracy want? I imagine she'd want money in the till. Well, then I must honour that and do my job. Poor Tracy, she must be terrified. It's not a first brush with the law, you know. A good friend of mine is in trouble, and what's more, Amy is goodness knows where. You know, I'd appreciate it if you'd show a little bit more sensitivity to my concerns. Uh, I apologize. Accepted. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to my job. smiling away. We should start every day like that. I wouldn't complain if we did. Although, uh, Dad might. Wouldn't we? Mm. It was worth it. Well, my dad says he's going to be late in an hour. <laughs> yeah. It was an accident. But it was my fault. And his head trauma? I don't remember them. What about the marks on his arms? Oh, well, that was to stop him, you know, falling downstairs. But then when he did fall, you left him, unconscious. Is it all right if I phone my daughter's dad? I need to know she got home safe. Do you remember asking Mr Britton to lie for you? Listen, I've told you this. He didn't know what I'd done. He hasn't done anything wrong. Except pervert the course of justice. Yeah, because I convinced him. Look, it's my fault. All of it is my fault. You said you were arguing. What about? Uh, well, that was about me and Amy. Um, we're not blood related. And I said to Dad that... I said that he didn't love us as much as he loved the rest of them. For the benefit of the tape, Detective Inspector Young is present. Amy's still not home. You don't think she could be with Mr. Donovan, do you? Oh, for the millionth time, I have not seen Rob. Sorry, yeah, yeah, he did say. And you'd have to be an idiot to leave your daughter with a convicted murderer who's on the run from some pretty nasty people. I mean, if they catch up with him before we do. But like you say, you haven't seen him, have you? I'm sure Amy will be fine. How could Tracy just abandon her? Yeah. Well, it is so irresponsible, even for her. That's Tracy for you. <sighs> Any news on Amy? Don't pretend you care. If you hadn't given Tracy her alibi, she wouldn't have been able to go on the run. Now this little girl's missing because of you. Look, I had no idea what she'd done. Yeah, right. Oh, come on. We all know what a manipulative madam Tracy is. Are you defending him now, are you? Uh, excuse me, Lado. All I'm saying is that Luke wasn't to know, right? Well, I knew. Well, I know I have to accept that my daughter attacked me, but what I won't accept is how happy this seems to make you. I'm just saying, when I said it was Tracy, no one listened. Do you want a medal? Look, Amy will be fine. I know she will. Oh, yeah, you've got a crystal ball nose Just stop it, will you? Stop it! All this stupid bickering! It doesn't matter, none of it! Only thing that matters is Amy and getting her back home. So go on then, did you embarrass him in front of all of his caviar loving clients? Was he fuming? No, he was alright. What? Even that chimp in a suit can laugh at himself. It's not that bad, David. 
right, Sal? Yeah, um, Tim booked a hair appointment for me, but he couldn't remember what time. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, trying to tell you something, is he? What? No. Oh, no, no, no. He's just trying to get me out of the house. Oh, sorry, everybody. So long, man. You right, Audrey? <sighs> well, no, not really. I've just come from seeing Ken. You know, he's been trying it on with you again. No, he has not. Is there anybody amused by your silly jokes, David? Can I count myself? Sally, sorry, love. How are you? Girl told me about your gremlins. <laughs> it's trolls, Graham. Oh, well, we've been very worried about you. Oh, well, thank you, Audrey, mm. but there's no need, honestly. What were you saying about Ken? Oh, yes. Well, we now know who attacked him. Madam herself, Tracy. No. Yes, she confessed yesterday, apparently. Oh, well, I'm not shocked. <sighs> And little Amy's still not home. Oh, poor cat. I mean, you always feel the worst, don't you, when something like this happens? All right, Gran, it's not all doom and gloom just yet, is it? Maria, you tell us about your business lunch you had yesterday. No, no, there's nothing to tell you. It's fine. How are you doing yet? Oh, yeah, I just like having my head stuck in a car bonnet. <laughs> Can't we just take it to a garage? No, we can't just take it to a garage, Amy, because someone might recognise me. In case you've forgotten, I am on the run. You think a lot of yourself, don't you? You're not Joey Essex. Thankfully. <laughs> well, just leave me to get on with it, yeah? Rob. What? Are you sorry? For what you did to Tina? Every day. Do you even know what you're doing? Yes, I used to fix cars with a mate of mine. Let's just ring Mum and get her to pick us up. We can't do that. Look, I know she's stalling the police so you can get away, but you're not getting very far, are you? She can bring the florist van and you can hide in the back. Your mum asked me to take you home, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Just ring her. No. You're being stupid. Give me your phone and I'll ring her. No! Why are you being so weird? <laughs> you got her? The police have the arrested her for helping you. Answer me, is my mum banged up because of you? Get in the car. I'm not going anywhere with you. Get in the car, Amy. No! Fine. The police have arrested her for attacking your granddad. Sorry, I don't know what I want. To flake or not to flake, that is the question. <laughs> Shall I get aid in one? Could do with the extra calories after the ones we burnt off this morning, if you know what I mean. What? Do you mind? You're putting me off my 99. But your dishes are putting money in the bistro till. They should ignore that with more than a pat on the back. No, well, they're hardly rolling in it, are they? I just feel like I'm not getting anywhere. I wonder what ice cream sellers do in the winter. Um, jacket potatoes, chilli. Mm. So, is the pizza strip weather going to wait it? Apparently, yeah. Is that like the one with all the lakes? Nope, oh, that'd be the lake district. Yes, it is. <sighs> what are you doing here? Have you seen Gina? No, why? Well, she's gone. She's been saying how bad she feels about what she did to your mum and how she needs to make it right. We're yapping on about karma and all sorts. Yeah, but mum's just getting better. If she only tells her the truth now, it'll just wreck her head. When she gets like this, she can be dead unpredictable. Well, we need to find Auntie Gina before she finds Mum. Where do you think you're going? Just leave me alone. Amy! Amy! How could she do that? You are dead convincing, but you don't need to lie to me. I am the last person who's going to judge you for doing something stupid in the heat of the moment. What? Your mum and... She handed herself in so you don't have to. What are you on about? We know it was you who hurt your granddad. Me. It wasn't you. Cause it wasn't me. Hello? Oh, uh, Liz, it's Tracy. No. 
No, you can't talk to Steve because he's out looking for his daughter. You know... The daughter you abandoned in the middle of nowhere. She'll be back soon. Oh, you really are a nasty piece of work, you. I always think... You can't stoop any lower. And I'm always proved wrong. Listen, I didn't phone for abuse. Look, can you just tell Steve that I rang and... If you see my dad, can you... Can you tell him that I'm sorry? Sorry? He could have died. We were fighting, Liz. It was an accident. So you nearly killed him? Because he had a bit of a burning. Is your dad? Look, if you see him, can you just tell him that I am really, really sorry and I love him so much? If there was any other way. What, what do you mean? Any other way? Doesn't matter. Do you know what, Tracy? I miss your mum every single day. But I'm glad. I'm glad she's gone. I'm glad she's not here to see this. To see what an awful human being her daughter is. Mum goes to prison. She didn't do anything, so she won't. It'll be okay. How? How will it be okay? You need to do something. If I could, I would. But there's people after me, Amy. Scary blokes, and if I don't disappear, they'll make me disappear. My mum sacrificed everything for you. And now you're gonna ditch her. You are just a little kid. You do not understand. Don't patronise me. I understand that you're a loser and a coward. We don't need you. You're just a psycho who only cares about himself. Fine. And I hate you. Fine. Look, if you don't need me, then you can do one. Go on. Right, Mum's not got a clue. Well, we fancy Gina isn't here, then where is she? No one's heard from her. Like, I'm running out of people to ring. Oh, this is such a mess. Mum's just feeling better, and then Auntie Gina's gonna ruin it because she feels guilty. Uh, uh she thinks she's a monster because of what you said to her. You really scared her. Me? You're the one that's lost her. Uh, she's not a dog, she's unwell. Right. She would just take a cleansing breath in. And out. I feel dizzy. This is ridiculous. We clearly need to sit down and think of places that she could have gone. Great, my feet are killing me. That's because you're wearing heels to clean windows. Really? These are trainers, like three and a half inches high. They're practically flat. Will you come on? I'll buy you a drink. Look at him. It's like he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. Yeah, Tracy's got a lot to answer for. Um, you up for this wine tasting Friday? Friday. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think I'll fancy that. Hey, look, Amy beyond that. We'll be in need of a drink from no, I'm all. sorry, no. Okay, fine. Bad idea. Sorry. Well, told me you'd be here. Any news? Yeah, the police rang. They've charged Tracy. When she rang, she said to tell you she was sorry. If I hadn't known her, I could have sworn she was sincere. Ken, she sounded broken. Yeah, because she's been caught. I don't need her apologies. I need to know why she did it. Well, she said you'd had a row. What about? Your will. Tracy told me she'd seen it. She was angry about being left out. Oh, well, that's it then. No, that doesn't make sense. I left her out because I'm gifting her that money now. Why? For the florist. And you will exclude Tracy and give you more. Me? Yeah, and you were upset about being lumped in with the grandchildren, so I changed it. Thank you. Well, Susan would have wanted. Well, if Tracy thought you were giving her share to somebody else, she'd be fuming. Yeah, but that's just it. If she confronted me, I could have told her about her share and she'd have no reason to be angry. Oh. Remember that night. Oh. 
We don't have to get back. I told David I'd take him a sandwich. He can wait. Have you ever seen a hungry David? He's cranky at the best of times. Mm. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm sure I could get Eva to believe I had a business dinner. Well, I could ask Kurt to mind Liam. Mm. Hey, I could uh, cook for us. That way, a business dinner is only half a lie. Well, let's not waste our time on food. I'll leave first. Excuse me, uh, does Sally Webster work here? Oh, Metcalf work here. Yeah. She's been married that many times, I can't keep up. <laughs> Actually, that's not fair, it's only twice. But they're both quite similar fellas, so I get confused. <laughs> does she work here? Yeah, she does, yeah. We're jumping together. Oh, no, no. Uh, thank you. Uh, I won't disturb her when she's hard at work. <laughs> is she hard at work? Or is she hardly working? <laughs> <laughs> Poor family. They must be out of their minds with worry. Ken's not in a good way. I saw him before. I can imagine. I don't know what was going through Tracy's head. Well, I'm sure she had her reasons for leaving Amy. I, I, I know she can be spiky at times, but she loves her daughter deeply. Yeah, she does. I know you two are no longer an item, but you once cared for Tracy. And, and, and for the record, I, I feel deep sympathy for her. Whether she's innocent or guilty, she's a troubled soul. See Mary, here. See? What are all those? Well, I, I thought these might take your mind off your worries. I mean, we were quite good at this at one time. You think entering a competition is going to take my mind off everything? Well, I must admit, I, I was inspired by Eileen's win, but... But, yeah, yeah, I, I, I did. I, I thought uh, this might cheer you up a bit. That is very thoughtful. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, I just come to see you. Huh? I'm afraid I'll have to skip bangers and mash tonight. Yeah, I've got to cover Lizzie's shift. Oh, it's a shame, cos, you know, I just discovered this recipe for garlic mash and it sounded really exciting. What's all that racket? What are you doing? Where did you get that? The local scrapyard. No, I promise you it's seaworthy. You won't feel stuck in a rut now, will you? Because you'll have wheels. This is for me? Yeah. Well, us. What do you think of Speed Dal? Eh? Hey? The name of our business. Speed Dal, authentic Pakistani street food. Oh, that's very clever. Ah, so, we could paint this bad boy up and sell at local events. This must have cost you a fortune. Nah, my patient was selling it. She was glad I could take it off her hands. This could be good for you, Zygan. Yeah, listen to your gran. This way, you get to be your own boss. Well, some of the time, anyway. Your father would be proud to see you taking such initiative. <sighs> You're crazy. Is that a yes? <laughs> <laughs> tonight, yeah? Make sure you turn up this time. You haven't got time to waste on birds and their kids. I've got rid of them both now, haven't I? Good, because this is your last chance. No, the thing is, you do your best. You bring them up and then they shove you down the stairs. I mean, it's heartbreaking. I'll just leave that to sink in for a few minutes. Saw your bestie earlier. Who? Yeah. Eva. Showing off about a perfect relationship, making out like they never get out of bed together, like anybody cares. Just mm. get banging on about how romantic Aiden is. I doubt he can even spell the word. You're not doing your head in then. Them two acting like the Kim and Can, yeah? Why would it? Look, 
I saw you with him before. Or pretending you weren't. Sneaking out of the ginnel. Don't lie. It's back on with him, innit? Just happened. Look, I know Eva is not the sharpest tool in the box, yeah? But I think she can even figure out what your little secret meetings are about. You need to end it. I don't think I can. Why? Because I love him. Oh. oh, David, please, don't make me feel any worse than I already do. I wish I didn't, but I've fallen in love with him. But you're lying to Eva. You're making a fool out of her. I know, and I hate myself for it. You see, I'm, you've not got it in you to hurt a mate, have you? I mean, you can't sleep with a boyfriend one minute, then go and share a bottle of rosé with her in the Rovers the next. Oh, no, I know, I know you're right. I usually am. Maybe it's better that me and Eva weren't friends anymore, then. And what are you going to do? Defriend her? I love. Coronation Street returns in half an hour. <laughs>